You're tuning into the Fearless Fridays with Marianne podcast. As a best-selling author, certified life coach, and speaker, I created this podcast to inspire, empower, and transform you from the inside out. From time to time, you may hear a solo episode, but for the most part, we will be joined by real-life guests who have overcome adversity. But as they have done the work, today they are thriving. So grab your pen and paper as we get started and learn firsthand tips and tricks to change the trajectory of your lives so we can live a free, fearless, and fabulous life. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fearless Fridays with Marianne. I am your host, Marianne Rivera Dannert, and today we have another amazing young lady who is a co-author in our upcoming book. And without further ado, let's bring her on. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Marianne? Good, thank you. So let's start by uh, tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. All right, so my name is April Hogan. I'm located in Florida, military veteran, and um, what a, I own a business called A Rich Innovations. Well, I own several businesses. My main business is A Rich Innovations, but I also have a nonprofit called A Rich Financial Management. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to be on today. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about your business, your businesses, and how they came about. All right. So I'm a business consultant or business and financial consultant. I generally operate under business consultant because that kind of covers it all. Your finances are still part of your business. So generally, um, I'm a business consultant, financial consultant. I deal with recruiting. Um, A large part of my business, I deal with helping people learn how to manage their wealth, manage their business processes, um, and gain government contracts. So very corporate, uh, but um, yeah, so I deal a lot with large companies, but my passion is small business, small companies, those who like we're kind of all learning together. Right. So um, yeah, so and then my, my nonprofit, we focus on helping people learn how to build financial literacy and um, just take the money you already have and learn how to build generational wealth with it. So yeah. That's awesome. What's one quick tip that you can offer, you know, our audience and our listeners when it comes to financial literacy? So always be open to learn what you think you may already know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) which is very important. I mean, I feel like we weren't really taught growing up how to manage our credit, how to manage our finances, um, all these different things that we have to deal with in terms of being an adult. We didn't learn in school. So, um, yeah, always be open to learn. Always, not only just be open to learn, be ready to learn. Like, be willing to go do the research. Be willing to go, um, you know, like, figure out how to do whatever's next, whether it's investments, whether it's uh, properly budgeting, whether it's saving, which is probably one of the most important things in financials is knowing how to save um, because you just never know what's going to happen. So, um Save, 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 budget, 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 learn, learn, learn. Yeah, that is so true. And one tip that I wish that my parents would have instilled in me is about your employer match for your retirement. Even if it's 2%, take advantage of that because it's free money. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you and I connected because we are in a book together. Yes. The Beautiful Face of Invisible Illness. Absolutely. So can you tell us what made you say yes and what is your chapter about and what is the title of your chapter? Okay. So I said, yes, number one, I love Nadia. So me and Nadia worked together some years back on a talk show called um, The Elevation. So we did some work in the background. We did a little bit of work in front of the camera, but um, just really, really connected really well. Um, in that and became more than just colleagues actually became friends. So that was one reason. But then additionally, when I heard what she was doing um, with the beautiful face of the invisible illness, I have my own invisible illness uh, that you probably would never know by looking at me. But my um, my chapter is called The Restful Mind. I learned as being a, an entrepreneur, a mother, a wife, a friend, a daughter, a child of God, all of these things, all of these hats that we wear, sometimes we get, and then a woman, so I'm going to say that because that's probably one of the biggest ones. Um, We kind of get all of these things kind of piled on us, and we kind of get the superwoman syndrome where, you know, we got to do everything. We got to be everywhere for everybody, and we don't really take that time to be what we need for ourselves. And a lot of times that promotes 
illness, right? right? So um, I have an illness called uh, ulcerative colitis, which is an intestinal disease. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually was just in the hospital like two days ago oh, wow. um, due to it. And it's, it's one of those that if you do not manage your stress levels and you do not manage your day to day and take that time to really just take care of yourself, it's, it's a silent, yeah. you know, one of them silent triggers. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's very important to keep our stress levels down. And I think also, too, that, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the various titles that women, you know, carry, and different hats that we wear, that a lot of women suffer from um, autoimmune diseases. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. How do you take care of yourself? So um, it's probably going to sound like well, you were just in the hospital a couple of days. So <laughs> but, um, I will say one of the things and I think right now it's mainly triggering because the holidays and, yeah. you know, I just re recently moved to Florida and I yeah. kind of just getting everything together. So but typically um, I mean, I, it's important to take time like um, the, the word no happens to be one of my favorite words in the mm -hmm. world. And if I love you, no still means I love you, but it means that I can't, yeah. you know, like, so I'm um, taking advantage of the word no, taking advantage of the resources around me um, as a mother and a wife. A lot of times we get caught up in the cook, clean, work, maintain, yeah. take care of everybody. But instead of realizing like it is also their job to take care of you. So mm -hmm. take, take advantage of those resources. If I don't mm -hmm. want to cook today, I got a 20 year old, a 16 year old, a 14 year old and a husband who can cook. <laughs> if the house needs to be straightened up, then we may have to, nobody's doing it but me. We may have to have a family meeting. Hey, you guys, like there's more than just right. me in this house. You know, so just making sure that you take advantage. I'm taking advantage of my resources, making sure that I utilize the word no or even if it's not no, not right now. And then making sure that I take time to say, OK, this is my time, my time to do what's best for me, whether it's just lay around for a couple of hours, whether it's go somewhere that's going to make me feel good and make me feel, you know, rejuvenate and get myself together, even though it may hurt people's feelings in the house. Like, oh, you did this without us. I absolutely did. <laughs> so, so just making sure that, you know, you can't take care of everybody else if you can't take care of you. So it's important to make sure, you, you know, you maintain that like self-care. Yeah. What about for that woman that may feel, well, they're not going to do it as good as me. I need to do it myself. I'm one of those. <laughs> so I remember my mom told me one time, she said, April, just because they don't do it the way you do it doesn't mean they're doing it wrong. So. Mm -hmm. You take what they do and then whatever they do, if there's things you got to critique or adjust, you teach them how to make sure the completed way is the way that you want it, but allow them to do it the way that they're going to do it to reach that completion point. As long as that completion point is the way you want it, it's clean, right? Like the whole goal is clean, not clean, right. clean it the way I want it to be clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, just learning uh, that in order to really, um, and then also as a leader, uh, you learn just even in business, if you don't learn to delegate and then trust the people you delegate it to, you might as well just do it all yourself. Right. So you're not really losing any stress. I mean, you're not really like releasing any stress. You got to learn to just, hey, I'm giving you this. I'm trusting you with it and take it. And if something needs to be changed or adjusted, then we work on how to change and adjust that. So the next time, you know, they're better at that piece of it. So. I love that. I love that. So what are you looking forward to besides our book coming out uh, for 2024? Um, so I kind of was a little silent this year. I'm generally very loud. Like I'm one of those people who people will see me in the store. I, I will tell you for the last three birthdays in a row. I have been at a store on my birthday and someone knew me that I had no clue who they were. Like April, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so last year I was really silent. I was a lot quieter um, just because I needed to get some stuff together for me. Mm -hmm. uh, get some, you know, I needed to revamp some things. I needed to figure out, you know, what areas I needed to kind of eliminate in order to concentrate on the areas that I wanted to concentrate on the most. So for all of those who got to not hear from me so much last year, I'm about to be everywhere next year. So that's, <laughs> that's a big part of um, I'm going to get back into my traveling, speaking. I have a whole bunch of events. So I have this um, conference called Empower Your Journey. 
business and tech tour. So there's a lot of things when it comes to women that we are just really taking over. Like, mm. shout out to my women. Shout out to my men, too. Shout out to my everybody. But um, as far as women, like, we are really taking over a lot of different industries, especially with business and tech. And there were industries that generally weren't predominantly women. Right. So um, we, got, we have a tour starting in April and I'm traveling to 12 different states, one state every month where uh, me and a partner of mine, Nicole Petit is her name, we're going to hold a business and tech conference. And one thing I love about this conference is we're not just going to talk. You know, you go to a conference, you just hear people talk. Like, Correct. This, this is I'm going to motivate you to do something. No, there's going to be workshops where we're actually teaching you. Like, mm -hmm. let's get in. Let's let's get down to nitty gritty. Like, these are the tools that you yeah. can take with you when you leave here, as opposed to just hearing me sit up and talk about, you know, what I can do. So um, really just just being out there, you know, take, getting out there and, and doing more this in 2024. That's, that's my goals. I love that. So you said it's kicking off in April. And where's the first place you're going to be in April? So first is Huntsville, Alabama. Then we go to Cincinnati. Then we go to Atlanta. I, that's that's what I can remember. Oh no, then Orlando. So we're we're hitting. Yeah, it's gonna. We have a, a website. It's empoweryourjourney.com. No, empoweryourjourneytour.com, and it has a list of all the states. But yes. Okay, we lost connection there really quick. So what's the website again? Um, the website is empoweryourjourneytour.com. I love that. And I'll make sure to capture that in the show notes. Absolutely. Awesome. So as we get ready to wind down, you are on the Fearless Friday podcast. How are you living a fearless life? Just taking advantage of every moment. You know, you get to a point where you realize you're aging. Hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. and um, as you get to the point, especially as a woman, you start to feel like, man, I'm losing time. Like, there's things that I want to accomplish that aren't quite accomplished yet or, you know, whatever. Just enjoy the journey. Number one, um, take advantage of everything. Like as far as like being willing to just do it. If it's something you want to do, just do it. Like and I hate to take Nike slogan, but like really like you just need to. There's there's a way to do anything. We can accomplish anything. There's going to be times when we fail. Take failure as an accomplishment, because if you fail then that means you can figure out a way to do it better next time. So just be fearless in the sense of just stepping out on faith and just whatever it is that you want to do, just do it. You know, and the thing about failure too, is that it means that you're trying. Absolutely. That Absolutely. It, so that's, that's huge right there. You mentioned something um, earlier that I wanted to touch on. So you said that last year you were silent because you were working on some things. Do you think that when someone is stepping into their silence because they're revamping, whether it's their business or they're going through something personally, that it needs to be announced. I don't feel like it needs to be announced. I feel like you don't owe anyone an explanation for anything. The only person you need to look at every day in the mirror is yourself. So if you need to take a moment, take a moment. And sometimes that's when you're going to discover the most about yourself is when you're out of the limelight, you're out of the spotlight. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's communicating with you. Nobody's searching for you. Like those are the times where you're going to discover who you are. You're going to discover who your crowd is. You're going to discover what your niche is. Like you discover you. And when you discover you, when you come back out, like, wow. So, yes. yes, I don't I don't feel like that's something you need to announce. You know, some people will go on social media and say, hey, I'm getting up on social media for a month or two. So you don't need to tell anybody. Mm -hmm. You don't have to explain to anybody. You do what is best for you. I love that. I love that. So as you know, we're ready to wind down. Can you share your website? I know you shared the one for the conference, but what's yes. your personal website? How can people connect in, you know, reach out to you? So my website is www.arichinnovations.com. So A-R-I-C-H-I-N-N-O-V-A-T-I-O-N-S.com. And then you can also connect with me on Instagram at arich underscore like a boss, TikTok at arich like a boss. Um, and then those are really the main two. Oh, and then Facebook, A Rich Innovations. Yeah. I love that. Is there anything else that you would like to share that we haven't touched on? No, I just, I'm again, I'm excited to be able to be a part of the show mm -hmm. and I'm excited to read your chapter and I'm excited that the book is like that much closer to being out. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. 
Thank you, Marianne. You're welcome. Thank you so much for listening to the Fearless Fridays with Marianne podcast. Make sure to stay connected with us and you can find us on Facebook at MRD Empowerment Solutions or on Instagram as Marianne Rivera Dannert. You can also visit our website at MarianneRiveraDannert.com. As always, you are fearless, you are fabulous, you are a priority and you matter.